Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and today I'm here with a portion of my collection. These are the blue typewriters. Now, if you've seen videos on this channel before, you know that I A love typewriters, and B, my favorite color is this tealy blue that is featured on many of the machines in my collection. So today I thought we'd sit down and look at some of these typewriters, most of which are Smith Coronas. There is this big popularity around colored machines. People are always looking for their favorite pink typewriter, and people will buy typewriters based on the aesthetics of the machine. So what is it like to actually own a machine that is a cool color, and what are the differences between these typewriters, despite having similar models, makes, and designs? So here are two typewriters from my collection, and the reason I put these two together is because they're similar shades of blue. Over here I have the Olympia SM7, and this one is from 1963. Her name is Iris. I got her for about $20, $25 on Facebook Marketplace a few months ago, and I had her in my Olympia roundup review video. One thing I've noticed about this machine after working with it for a little while is that I really don't enjoy the typing experience compared to the other blue typewriters in this hall, which are all Smith Coronas. The pitch on this, which is how high up the keys are from each other, is just really high. And on this typewriter in particular, every time I go to shift the level of tension or the touch control on the front of the typewriter, doesn't seem to do anything. It's always really hard to type on. And I think that's just an adjustment that I could fix over time. But there is something really strange about how high of an angle these keys are from each other. Otherwise, it's a really beautiful typewriter. The Olympia SM7s came in three colors. One of them was this blue, there was a pink color, and then they also came in the standard white. The SM series is pretty highly popular. A lot of people love their SM typewriters. I personally have an SM9 and I adore her, but this typewriter has just given me a little bit of issue over time. I do, however, really like the case for this typewriter. I do find it to be portable, and for a portable typewriter, it's still got that nice heft to it, which will keep it from sliding around while typing. Over here, I have my Aqua Blue Smith Corona Corsair Deluxe from the 1960s. I love this typewriter. This is my first typewriter, so it's a little bit nostalgic. She was uh, an eBay purchase for $60 to $70 with shipping. And when I got her, absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with her, which is not always the case when you're getting into an eBay typewriter. What I really like about this typewriter, and you can see it compared to this one, is the level of pitch in the keys. It's not as high of an angle. It's a really easy typing experience. I find the keys to shape well to my fingers. I find it in general to be just a really easy typewriter to type with. It also has error control, which will let you go back and put in letters in a half space in case you miss one. It's just a really nice, easy to travel with typewriter. I've traveled with this typewriter to and from my apartment all over the place, really easy to slip in the car, can fit almost anywhere. If you have a big enough backpack, it'll probably fit in that too. I also really enjoy that it comes with its own topper lid, so it is its own case. This attaches right on the top of the machine, makes it super portable. Not everybody has the greatest experience with typewriters that are in this shape. Uh, there were a couple other models that were also the same design, which were the Cougar and the Empire, and they are plastic, so they do come across as a little bit cheaper or not as well built as something that is metal with enamel paint on it. It is a lighter machine. It does slide when you're typing on it, so that is something I've come to terms with. I do have to use a typing mat when typing with it for an extended period of time, otherwise it'll just shift across my desk. It's not hefty enough to hold its own weight, but I just love this machine so much. And that's my personal preference when it comes to typewriters. I just have a better experience. I've used it more than I have some of the other typewriters in my collection. And this is Caroline. Here are two more blue typewriters from my collection. These are my two Smith Coronas, and I put these two next to each other because they're a similar shade of blue, and they're kind of the same body design. So they almost look like each other, but one of these is a portable manual typewriter, portable manual typewriter, and the other one is an electric portable typewriter. Electric portable typewriter. Oh boy. So over here from 1964, we have Webster. He is a Smith Corona Classic 12 typewriter. It looks very similar to the Classic 12 Galaxy design typewriters. This body style was very popular for Smith Corona after their 5 series. I really enjoy this typewriter. It was given to me as a gift. Uh, it 
was from my mentor. He had typed his dissertation on it, and now it's to help me with my dissertation, which someday I will write. But I really love this machine. It is a super, super easy and smooth typing experience. As you can see here, the level of the keys is again very low compared to some of the other machines in my collection. I really love the key design on this typewriter. I feel like the keys really form to my fingers well and they're not textured like the Olympias. And I find that to just be really smooth. I'm not slipping around though and like getting my fingers stuck in different places in the typewriter. Same key design as that Corsair Deluxe. I love the functionality of this machine. It is heavy though. It is heavier than some of my other portables. The case itself is huge. It looks like a big suitcase. You could probably put your clothes in there and go on vacation. So that does make it a little less portable than some of the other typewriters I have, including the Royal Portables or that Corsair Deluxe again, and even that Olympia SM7. It just is a bigger hassle to move around because it's heavier. But because it's heavier, it just has that heft to it when you're typing. It doesn't shift while you're typing around. It just is super consistent and it's gonna give you that really nice defined look as you're typing. I also really like the articulating case on these ones. So satisfying. I really like this case design because it keeps the top with the rest of the typewriter. You don't have to remove it and risk chipping paint as you're trying to snap it back in there like on some of the other machines. Over here I have another Smith Corona typewriter. This is the Electra 120 from 1967. Another gift in my collection from my grandfather. This machine is the one that my mother learned to type on, so I do have like an emotional attachment to this machine and it'll probably never leave me just because of that. I do, however, tend to not gravitate toward this machine specifically because it is an electric typewriter. It has a very similar design and almost feel to the Smith Corona 12. I would rather use the Classic 12 than the electric typewriter. And there's a couple times where it skips or doubles up on letters, and that is just some cleaning would definitely fix that in the typewriter. It is heavier. I mean, it is like 20 pounds, 30 pounds, really heavy. That's because it's an electric typewriter. It's got that motor inside of it. And that does add to the difficulties in using it and transporting it around. Even though it's a portable electric typewriter, I don't find it to be super portable. It does, however, have the half spacing in it and the power spacing, which I find useful. I like that it has the return lever. Some of my electric typewriters have the manual return lever. Some of the electric typewriters in my collection do not. I know a Selectric isn't an electric typewriter, but that doesn't have a return lever. I also don't have one on my Action Writer, IBM Action Writer. And those are almost a different breed of electric typewriter. So it's kind of like a hybrid model between a typewriter and an electric typewriter. I know a lot of people have great experiences with their Electra 120s, and I think with a really good cleaning that's very thorough, it would work great, but electric typewriters just aren't always my thing. I do, however, love it, and I think with the right care, it would be a great thing to type on consistently. So that's been a little bit from my collection, the blue typewriters. I love all of these machines, and to me they all have different uses. And every collector is going to have different preferences for what they like in a typewriter. Personally, I love my Corsair Deluxe. I love how portable it is. I'm not looking to write long texts on it, maybe a pen pal letter. And for me, it works great for that. And I know a lot of people love their SM line typewriters and the SM7 just isn't really for me. It all depends upon your preference. And is it wrong to collect typewriters because of their color? No. People love pink machines. They go for so much money because they're an interesting color. And that's totally okay. Collect what makes you happy. And to me, blue typewriters make me really, really happy. If you're interested in more typewriter content, check out some of the other videos on this YouTube channel. We also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter where you can DM me about your favorite typewriters, check out some of the other typewriters in my collection, and we can just chat about the kind of machines you have in yours. I wanna thank you so much for watching today and remind you, you're just my type, writer.